okay the other day i made this typographic masterpiece and all the art director clubs wanted me to be their president which i refused because i have to shoot this video and this video is about preparing fonts for plasticity import here is the original one and i have this from adobe fonts como bold this was the one i downloaded and here is the original unedited raw font and you have to make a couple of adjustments before importing it into plasticity otherwise you will hate your life make a copy and i will create an outline of it here create outlines so that's a design choice and obviously this y thing also so that's not important what's important is is this plasticity doesn't like such games plasticity doesn't like corners plasticity wants to have rounded corners otherwise you won't be able to make correct fillets here also so if you have a font which you want to import into plasticity make sure that there are slightly rounded corners so let's take this for instance and as soon as you select the corner this pops up a sharp corner of course i mean if you select here there is nothing to be rounded so there isn't a handle on which you can drag but here this tiny circle pops up double click here are a couple of options here you can type in the radius let's try one pixel and press ok here you can see a rounding right away that's okay but you can also drag make something like this if that makes you happy but some kind of rounding has to be there here also you have to round these corners and what i showed you with the letter b here two sharp corners this will give you a big mass in plasticity so let's see how we can fix this one so i will just take the letter b copy this letter and paste it in front it's Control f and here it is yeah paste in front and i will give it another color lock this one the one underneath with Control 2 Control f like i said and you have to make these adjustments i repeat myself i know but that's very important otherwise chances are that you become a mass murderer so delete one of these nearby points so in this case i will delete this one because i want to keep this straight line so with the path tool selected you see that the minus pops up delete it and you have this curvature going on just drag and press shift for locking this one on this direction that's the first thing the second thing you have to do is what i said at the beginning round this corner round this sharp corner either by dragging right away or by double clicking on this handle and type in a number one pixel so that's what you have to do for all sharp angles before importing it into plasticity and i will show you also what happens if you don't do it and i will compare it with this one with this edited one here in plasticity with its facelifted ui i will import both svgs of course you have to save it as an svg in illustrator in order to be able to import it into plasticity that's the original one the unedited one and here is the one which was optimized for plasticity and i repeat myself that's not important this one this this difference or this one that's not the point the point is discussing these these corners let's scale this one also so we have approximately the same size i will show it only on one letter so let's say this letter t so select both of them the unedited and the edited one shift d and in face mode if i drag out a solid right away we get this and i will do a second version of both and i hope this won't confuse you this is the unedited this is the edited one and i will make a second version of both with rebuilt ones because the rebuilding is also very important so run the rebuild command and in points give it a high point count let's say 250 and check whether it looks good i say okay let's rebuild this guy also and also with points method and i give it the same point count but doesn't handle this sharp edge very well and if you say never mind i will bump up the 
point count to 300 there will still be some weird thing going on but okay let's go with this one with 300 and again in face mode let's extrude solids and here you can see right away that this that these rebuilt ones look cleaner in comparison to these but let's first start with the optimized version with the edited version but not rebuilt go to edge mode select the edge loop with alt and fill it and you can only fill it to a certain point so you can type in a distance manually so let's try something like 0 0.005 something like this that seems to work and if i type 007 james bond style it still works after a certain size it gives you an error but you can get away with 0.01 i guess so that's what you get with the edited but not rebuilt version so let's check this one the unedited and not rebuilt version so if we alt select an edge loop we aren't able to select an edge loop right away we have to make it two times so that's a bad sign already so select this one with alt and shift alt select this one and let's try to fill it this guy you can't do anything with it here it fails right away you can't even give little fillets so that shows that we have to optimize that we have to edit this let's come to these guys these are the rebuilt ones but this is the not optimized one the not edited one and this is the edited one so let's take this and you can see that you can select an edge loop right away just hovering over it it shows that you can select this edge loop without doing anything else because we have rebuilt it and it is now one curve instead of multiple curves just joined together and i hope you know the difference or i will show it to you at the end of this video the difference between rebuild and join okay let's take this guy let's select this edge and press bd for filleting and you can see that we can make a big fat fillet already because of the rebuild but there are a couple of problems so let's keep on filleting first problem is obviously this shape is wobbly while we were rebuilding this edge didn't look clean that's the first problem the second problem is that we are getting these edges that's not what we want obviously and let's take the last one that's the edited version and rebuilt version so let's select this edge loop this one can also be selected right away because it was rebuilt and here you can give it a big fat juicy fillet without any problems of course this one also until a certain point but this one nevertheless gives you the freedom to make a decent fillet and if we hide the edges give it this fancy matcap you see the differences okay and here the difference between a rebuilt and not rebuilt curve i discussed it in another video but it's always a good idea to repeat okay now we are left with only these two and have a look at the outliner here we have two curves that's the rebuilt one and that's the raw version so to speak so it looks as one curve here in the outliner but if we press alt j you see that it consists of multiple curves all these uh, one single curve here if we unjoin it so joining a curve doesn't automatically mean that we are merging the curves unlike rebuilding if you rebuild a curve it is merged there is nothing to unjoin so if i press alt j for unjoin nothing happens so that's the genuine single curve unlike this one and just in case some of you may ask what's what's this botley thing that's that's just a quick logo i did for an upcoming plasticity robot course so stay tuned peace